Join creative entrepreneur Angela Hollowell as she talks to the creators shaping the future of the creator economy through education, community, and tech. That's the one-line description of the trailer we're about to hit play on. It's a quick one, Tim. Do you mind if we hit play and then come back to introduce the show? Try something a little different this time? Sure, let's try it. All right. Hey guys, I'm Angela Hollowell, and I've been a creative producer for over six years. Most of that time, I've spent producing films, photography campaigns, and a video podcast. As a creative entrepreneur, I believe that learning from others through storytelling is our greatest asset. That's why I'm collaborating with Castos to present Creative Architects, a podcast featuring the people shaping the future of the creator economy through education, community, and tech. This podcast will teach you to master your craft and turn your creative passions into a full-time career with stories from top creators. Subscribe to the show on YouTube or wherever you stream podcasts to tune in every Wednesday for new episodes. Let's build together. Welcome back. You're listening to Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. I'm your host, Ariel Nissenblatt. And I also am your host, Tim Viegas. How are we doing today, listeners? How about you, Ariel? How are you doing? Thank you so much. I'm great. How are you? How is Tim? I am swell, Ariel. On Trailer Park, we share a trailer with the masses and then break it down. What worked? What didn't work? What did we like? What did we hate? And then we hear a little bit from the creator of that trailer. Before we get to this week's episode, we just want to welcome you back for episode two of season two of Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. And the reception has been really great so far. Thank you to our sponsors, FanList and OSHA. And thank you to the folks who have left us ratings and reviews. We always appreciate that. Today's trailer, you heard that already. It was from Angela Hollowell, and the show is called Creative Architects. It's presented by Castos. If you don't mind, let's start with the negatives, and then we can end on a high note. What didn't we like about this? Ariel, you go first. Okay, thank you. Love the opportunity to go first. I thought that the audio quality could be vastly improved from the way it was presented in this trailer. I think that the microphone maybe was not plugged in. I couldn't quite tell what was going on there. I think that the, that it sounded a little bit tinny. There was no resonance to the voice. And I've actually heard Angela speak on other podcasts, and I know that she has a more resonant voice than that. So I'm not sure exactly what happened with the trailer there. Um, what else? I thought that it didn't stand out much from other trailers that also discuss the creator economy. I thought that there are ways to differentiate shows that cover similar topics, and I thought that this could have been interchangeable with other shows that I've heard about that touch on similar topics. What about you? Negatives, Tim. Okay, negatives. First, I, I actually thought it was too short. It's hmm. 44 seconds or maybe 45 seconds. You wanted more. I wanted more. I wanted more. And I was a little disappointed with the audio quality. Just thinking about the distance that the narrator was to where I thought they should be, they felt way far back in the mix. The music, great. Well, no, we're just on, only negatives. Uh, <laughs> only negatives. Only negatives in the building. I felt Angela's voice was way too far back in the mix. It was competing with the music. Uh, when the music was playing. There's also a thing called a noise gate or like noise reduction plugins that a lot of podcasters use. I mean, we use them when we're producing. And I felt that was like either missed or just something that wasn't necessarily important to the producer of the trailer. And it's not something that it would stand out to you if you weren't like listening with headphones, which I almost always listen to audio with headphones. So it's just a combination of, of those things. So I felt like it was too short. The audio quality was lacking. Um, I just want to call out something that you talked about with the trailer being very similar to other creative type shows. And it's just, you know, it's just kind of boring. It's, there's not a whole lot there. And again, nothing against Castos or Angela but I think there was a missed opportunity. Mm. And and here's the good news, and we'll use this as a pivot. It doesn't necessarily have to be a missed opportunity because you can always put out a new trailer. You can always update that trailer. So let's move on to the positives. What did we like about the trailer? But first, but first, last season, 
we really didn't go too hard on any of the trailers because it was our first season. You know, we wanted to show that, like, we're coming at this from a place of love and we are still coming at this from a place of love. We are just also trying to offer some constructive criticism from time to time on this season. And sometimes that constructive criticism might sound harsh. We are, of course, always going to frame it in positivity and try to give some takeaways. But maybe I'm being too apologetic, but those were the things we didn't like. Let's now move on to the things that we did like about this trailer. <laughs> Would you like to start, Tim? Uh, yeah. The positive that comes to mind is the host. So yes. I really like Angela's voice. I think she has a really easygoing personality. I can see that that would play really well with the tone of the show. And then also, I know that she has guests. So I think that is really positive. The music choice was excellent. And the other thing that I was thinking about, Ariel, was that I think that Castos may be leaning into the video side of this. Yeah. And so that is something that rolled through my mind as I was listening to the trailer like multiple times, yeah. is that, you know, maybe... You know, we're focused. The audio is not prioritized. Yeah. Like we're focused on audio, but maybe their priority was video. Yeah. And we'll hear from Angela a little bit later. And she does mention that video is something that she's very comfortable in. So we'll get into that. I also want to mention a positive for me. So it's hard to make a podcast from a podcast hosting company in order to promote that podcast hosting company. What you can do instead is find somebody who represents that brand and let them do their thing in your name. And they did that really well. They chose Angela. She's great. She has a really great presence on Twitter. She is a video podcast creator. She's had previous projects. She will have future projects. It's great for them to align themselves with this creator. So I think they did a really great job at doing that. Another thing that I really liked about this is that it exists in the first place. It sounds to me like they knew that they needed to make a trailer, and that is why they put together a 45-second trailer. Like we said, there is room for improvement, but I really do appreciate that there is a trailer at all because, like we mention a lot, there are multiple reasons to have trailers in your podcast feed. The first is that it allows you to take advantage of that real estate in the podcast listening apps that shows off that there is a podcast trailer. It allows you to onboard potential listeners. It allows you to market the show. So I love that they just made this. And yes, there's room for improvement, but it is there and that is half the battle. Now, Tim, I have a few thought questions for you and for the folks at home. The first question is, if you were to redo this trailer today, what would you do differently? I would have Angela's voice right up in front, present, and introducing herself right away. And then show some of her personality because I know she's a wonderful video presence. I did extra credit, Ariel. I, I went and I <laughs> I watched some of the video podcasts. So I know the quality of the work that Angela can do. I, I think we need to hear Angela shine in this trailer. And I would, since this show does feature interviews, I would like to hear some interview clips. I was going to say the same thing. And if not interview clips, because maybe that's played out, maybe at least mention to us who's going to be on the show or yeah. what types of topics they're going to be covering. What takeaways are you going to get from this show that you will not get from another show about the creator economy? Let us into that. So, yes, I love all of those suggestions. We actually asked this exact question of Angela, and here's what she said. If I could go back and make the trailer for Creative Architects again, I would change maybe some of the footage that I use from some of the films that I made to maybe do some more podcast specific clips, especially since I'm a video podcaster. Thank you, Angela. And the last thought question that I have is less of a question, but Tim, I would like for you to pick an episode from the show's website to recommend to our listeners just based on the title of the episode alone. And the reason I want to do this is because one thing that I think they do really well is choose guests and choose topics. So let's recommend one specifically that you think folks should check out. Here we go. I pull up Spotify, my preferred podcast listing app. All right, let's see. Let's scroll down here. Oh, I like this one. August 2023, creating network opportunities to empower BIPOC podcasters with Tangia Estrada. Love that. Tangia is great. Thank you, Tim, for doing that exercise for me. So listeners, check out the show. Check out those episodes. Now let's talk about creative freedom. 
Angela makes this show for Castos, which we mentioned is a podcast hosting company. We were curious about this, so we asked her to tell us about the experience of making a branded podcast. Here's what she said. So the concept of creative architects, the branding, the interviews, the questions, the editing style, the run of show, how I market it, all of that really largely has been up to me. And that's such a blessing. We've been doing some really awesome things with working with other podcasters to establish a new community around the show, which I love. I think if I didn't have that level of creative freedom, this brand partnership probably wouldn't work as well as it does. Thank you to Angela for submitting the trailer for Creative Architects to us. Did you know that you can submit a trailer to us? We have a submission form on our website, which is trailerparkpodcast.com. Dot crd dot co. Tim, we should eventually have a conversation about when we just do trailerparkpodcast.com, like when we decide to purchase that. No. Not now, but we like no, to no. build in public, so I wanted to have this conversation <laughs> out loud. You can also email us with questions or concerns at hello at trailerparkpod.com. We're also on Instagram at trailerpark underscore pod. Over the next few weeks on our show, get ready for dads crying, video games, kids podcasts, and more. And dad's crying. I'm not just talking about you, Tim. I'm not just talking about making you cry. <laughs> cry all the time. <laughs> all right. Get ready. Until then, bye. Bye. You know we couldn't let you go without telling you about the brands and services that make this show possible. First up is FanList. They are our newest sponsor. If you go to fanlist.com slash trailer park, you can see our fan page. There, you can send us a tip, you can ask us a question, you can record a voice clip, and more. It's a really cool way to stay in touch with us and to support the show if you so choose. Fan engagement is critical in today's podcasting economy. The more you engage your fans, the more they'll love you, support you, and help spread the word about your show. Go to fanlist.com to learn more about creating a fan page for your podcast. We are also sponsored by OSHA. That's A-U-S-H-A. OSHA is great because it's more than just a hosting provider. They really prioritize marketing. They have a tool called Podcast Search Optimization, where we can do keyword research right within their platform so we can find out what folks are searching for. Then we can optimize our show notes to fit those search paths and find new listeners. Try it for yourself. Go to OSHA.co. This show is written and edited by us, Ariel Nisblatt and Tim Viegas. Our music is from Melody. That's M-E-L-O-D dot I-E. Our logo is by Kayo Slickta. We record this show on Squadcast and edit in Descript. That's it. Happy, Happy trails. The raw emotion. <laughs> That's what we do. That's how we do it. We do it, the TPP.